Yeah. So, the other uh, the design expressions what we have discussed, design equations for ideal reactors. Okay. So, for batch you have T by C A naught equal to 0 to x A d x A by minus R A. For P F V by F A naught equal to 0 to x A d x A by minus R A. M F equal to V by F A naught equal to x a by or x a f by this also x a f by minus r a to be very precise I should write minus r a f because I have written here x a f because that is rate corresponding to only at the outlet. Okay? Yeah. So, these are the three, three equations which we have derived. We spent lot of time in understanding what is batch ideal, plug flow ideal, mixed flow ideal and all that. Finally, you have very simple equations. The simple equations have come because we have very beautiful assumptions. What is perfect mixing? What is uh, uh, you know, ideal plug flow? What is ideal batch? Because of those equations uh, assumptions only, you could get very simple equation. Right? Good. So, now, if you go back to your uh, that uh, information required for reactor design, this is input output kinetics and I have contacting. Then here we have batch continuous P f M f okay, that way. This is uh, physical chemical. Right. So, this is the design uh, information required for the design. This all kinetics will give me minus R A. <coughs> this will give me what? The reactor volume only, but I think what volume you are talking? Okay, reaction mixer also not the one. That the entire thing will give you what kind of react you have to use first contacting. Okay. So, you have to choose that whether you have to batch or continuous and out of that you have to choose now. You see so many times repeating also you are not able to get still the points. You know. Yeah, All this will give me the type of reaction reactor which I have to choose. This suddenly will not give you the rate or uh, uh, I mean uh, as someone was telling uh, Abdul was telling conversion. How can you get conversion the moment you take contacting? Okay. So, you need again for get co conversion you need what kind of reactor you are going to use, what is the rate expression and what is the input. Okay. So, now these are the th then output will be volume if conversion is known or conversion if volume is known that is all. Okay. So, now by deriving these equations what are the quantities you have now with you? Very good. What kind of reactors we have discussed? So, how do you choose we have discussed? So, that means I have information on this. Okay. Yeah, then that is all. That is all. What is performance equation? Output equal to you know, function of input kinetics contacting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what is the information till now we have covered uh, uh, for that? I mean, using uh, yeah, from the, for this equation, if you want to calculate finally either volume or conversion. What is the information? You said contacting. You know that means you know how to choose a reactor. Okay. So then you know again kinetics. We don't know. We have not discussed anything about how do you get this minus R A. Okay, this minus R A. Right? 
So, then what about output? Uh, sorry, what about input? Input did we discuss? What is based on the Not discussed. Based on the kinetics we can. Student. Based on the output we can do. Okay, yeah. So, input we have never discussed. Input we never discussed. Yeah, we have never discussed. Sir, we can decide output, but we cannot decide input. Only by the rate we can decide the input. Devayan, how do you get F naught? We have not discussed. From the from the output, from the output, we can. Yeah, that is the first thing we know before starting any plant. What Abdul? What has happened? Yeah, you know, you have to produce some output for that. You know what is the kind of reaction stoichiometry. And then how much uh, reactants you have to get? I was telling you so many thousands of times that F A naught we know, F A naught we know, F A naught we know. F A naught is input. So in your language, F A naught is what? Input. Ah, so then why do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> then why do you say that input is not known? We have not discussed. So many times we have discussed about input, and then I was telling you that you know if you are, if you don't have time, uh, appoint a MBA guy and then get. All the ask him to do the market survey and get what is the total capacity for this plant we have to design. So, F A naught is the first thing you know. I think what I told is that you identify a product and find out which stoichiometric equation is giving you. From there, you are calculating what is the you know amount you have to produce, I mean, amount you have to produce is a product, and now how much reactant you have to uh, I mean use. So, that is what is F A naught we know in the beginning itself. So, right now what you do not know is only minus R A. You know F A naught, right? And you know uh, you do not know minus R A. But this equation or this equation or this equation, which you have equation you have to use will come from contacting, right? Whether you take batch reactor, whether you take continuous reactor, or in continuous reactor again you take uh, P F or you take M F, all these things we have discussed. So, that is very clear for you now. Okay, just to take the sample. Gopinath, when do you choose uh, mixed flow reactor? When do you choose mixed flow reactor? Yeah. First of all, liquid phase reactions. I mean, high residence times will come. Mixed phase. Most of the time, liquid phase reactions. Okay, then even if it is gas phase, sometimes if the if the temperature control is very crucial, then temperature, you know, when you have exothermic reactions. So under those conditions only, you you choose mixed flow reactions. Okay, when do you choose batch reactors? Thereby, small, small, small scale production. When I ask thereby, and accept thereby, and everyone talks. <laughs> okay, tell me. Oh, okay. So, small productions like maybe 10 tons, uh, you know, 50 tons, 30 tons, you, you go for batch, but I think you know somewhere 80, 100 and all that we do not know which one is right, but definitely 1000 tons per day is mm. continuous. Okay. So, that is why you have all the information, I think do not disappoint me because so much time I have now spent uh, on contacting so that that will be permanently printed in your uh, brain, but it might be printed, but you are not able to recall. You know that, that information recalling also is important. No, what is that random access memory? Yeah? R A M. Ah, so that access is not there. You are printing somewhere. I think you know computer also stores somewhere. But to get that file out, your interest must be there. You should not forget so easily. Okay. Anyway, so all this we have spent lot of time in deciding which reactor you have to use. Whether this reactor, this reactor, this reactor. That comes from this. This is what type of reactor. And this is what F A naught, and now we have to find out what is minus R A, right? Okay. So now let us talk about rate of reaction. <coughs> I just started that a little bit rate of reaction. Rate of reaction. Uh, mainly it is our key reactant minus R A we call, and uh, I may have a rate A going to R general rate. 
or it may be having any complicated rate, right. So, how do I determine my rate and we are talking first about the homogeneous systems and then we can talk about heterogeneous, homogeneous. Homogeneous means either I have gas phase reaction or liquid phase reaction, everything is available in that phase. If there are two reactants, two liquids thoroughly mixed, two gases, you do not have to do anything, they will anyway thoroughly mix. Okay. So, we are talking about only gas phase or liquid phase for homogeneous reactions. Now, if I have homogeneous uh, reaction between A and B giving me R L, how do I know what is the order of reaction? Okay. Or I may have A gas going to R gas plus S gas. I cannot have R and uh, I mean L and G because that will become heterogeneous system. Okay. And before this, we have also defined now what kind of rates you can express. Like is homogeneous means mostly it is I mean liquid, uh, yeah, volume of the liquid or okay, volume of the liquid. Otherwise, you have many possibilities for heterogeneous systems. That will come a little bit later, but this one. So, if someone tells that okay, I have now A plus B going to, now onwards please write in the bracket what is the state of the reactant, when it is reacting, not at room temperature, when it is actually reacting. Okay. You may have both A and B liquids at room temperature. So, under actual reaction conditions both may be vapors. So, that is again homogeneous, but gas phase reaction. Now, you have to see whether the reaction time is very small or large. So, depending on that, so because you have the reactants liquid phase does not mean that you choose only CSTR. We are talking about those conditions we are talking about whether gas phase or liquid phase at the time of reaction only, because the small things also you, you know sometimes you may not get the idea. I have now this is first order, but how do you know it is elementary? When I just asked you how do you know it is elementary? Puja, you are telling something? One single step, then it's called elementary. How do you know? It is, you cannot see, where, see the actual reaction whether, whether it is taking place in single step or two steps. You do not know. Yeah, that is very important. So, you can never say anything about the rate equation or order of rate or what kind of rate equation you get unless you conduct experiment. So, that is why chemical reaction engineering always associated with the experiments. So, do not tell very proudly that no, 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 I am I funda guy. So, I only talk about mathematics and I cannot conduct any any experiment. You have to conduct experiments. Okay. So, otherwise you will never get a rate expression, but if it is already someone did and then you if you are copying, copying is very easy, you can do many things. Okay. So, that is not the one. So, always reaction engineering associated with experiments, because the first thing I do not know is whether this reaction is elementary or non-elementary, I do not know. Then what kind of rate form I will get, I do not know. Right? And I will uh, ask you another question, I have 2 A L plus 2 B L giving me R L. <coughs> what is the order of reaction? Can I take this one as elementary reaction? No. no. Why? Or order greater than 3. Why order greater than 3? Now, uh, 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 I mean, why are you, why are you very angry, angry, angry with uh, orders greater than 3? Or why you do not like order, orders greater than 3? Huh? How do you know there are a lot of intermediate steps? It can be, I am just saying. Uh, first of all, why you are telling that orders cannot be more than 3? Huh? The probability of striking four molecules together is very rare. Yes. That you have to remember. In nature, the if I have only A going A decomposing, easiest. Right? So when I have that means two molecules come together, two A's, and again they will collide and then they decompose. Okay, some kind of activation energy all is required. So in the if you have A and B two different molecules coming, they come together, again collide. Okay. So, depending on the energetic collisions, they will have more and more product coming, but important thing is molecule collision. So, when you go to third 
order that means three molecules coming together so the probability will fall very drastically two coming together is good one is of course just decomposition reactions are many right two then three probability is less four probability is zero almost maybe point zero 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 one so that is why you don't have four molecules together or three molecules also together and then coming and happily getting reacted uh, uh, reacting is very very difficult so that is why in nature people have not seen that orders beyond 3 and third order reactions also i told you what is the order i gave you and phosphine phosphine nitrogen nitrogen no plus nitrogen phosphine nitrogen ah 2 no plus o2 that is one thing you know third order that means two no molecules are coming one o2 molecule is coming together they are able to collide and they are able to give you know the product so that's why people observed that experimentally later proved that yes this is a third order reaction where two moles of this and one mole of this coming together and reacting so that is why absolutely i told you in fact uh, this, that's what i have been telling you many times contacting is the easiest one to remember in uh, chemical reaction engineering it is the actual reactions which are very very difficult to remember are very very difficult to get the information on rate of reaction this is simply homogeneous and the moment i go for uh, heterogeneous you will have real hell it's not that easy for heterogeneous reactions to get right so simplest uh, equations if you take even combustion coal combustion there are hundreds of equations okay heterogeneous systems right so that is why the easiest one in fact is of course input is the easiest one you need not do at all ask the mba guy to get information second easiest one is contacting because you have only three ideal systems you you know now at least uh, you know under what conditions you choose what reactor and then the next one is to get the output is the kinetics and kinetics is the most difficult part for example very innocent uh, looking equation like this a plus b going to r you don't know what is happening there it can be very very complicated equation it is not simple second order right or it cannot be simple pseudo first order by looking at that you can never tell that so that means you have to go to experiments and experiments you have to prove that whether it is elementary if with respect to a if it is first order with respect to b if it is first order then you may think that okay one molecule of a b uh, react um, colliding or uh, yeah, reacting with another molecule of b then i am getting product all that imagination comes after doing the experiment and then proving what is the order then your model will come or otherwise in the beginning itself imagine that a is colliding with b develop equations finally have some rate equation go to laboratory do the experiment and then check whether what you have written those equations exactly tallying with your experimental data that is another way i am not saying whether this is right or that is right so it depending on your convenience you may start this way you may start this way either from experiment or from theory so that's why but what we know at this point of time is only one thing rate is a function of that's all rate of reaction is a function of concentration and temperature that's all i know now that functionality i have to find out so that is why for convenience sake i can also write this one as as a function of okay ca and t which also can be written as some kind of function f1t and f2 ca i have divided that function into two groups where <coughs> Uh, the term which is depending on temperature and the term which is depending on concentration so by keeping the temperature constant that means at 100 degree centigrade exactly isothermal condition then i will vary various concentrations and all that and try to find out what is the concentration dependency on the uh, the rate dependency on concentration that is one thing so once i know that this is the okay like for easy thing it is the first order then i know that term that functionality now i will vary the temperatures 100 120 140 160 then i will get now the temperature dependency or rate dependency on temperature concentration is already known so that is the two terms what we have to now learn 
and fortunately for us f 1 t is only k naught e power minus e by r t, who has given this equation? Arrhenius. That is the only equation we have, there are many, finally it is distilled to that level. right? So, how do you get this format? Like for example, the, uh, the, the, the that functionality, you know, uh, that functionality t can also be called as k rate constant. So, that functionality is an exponential function. How do you know that? Experimentally people have also found, but from thermodynamics, from collision theory, from transition state theory, people have different equations for rate constant. Okay? So, this if I say this one as rate constant k, k now the functionality of k can be obtained from thermodynamics and also from kinetic theory of gases, kinetic theory. In this kinetic theory again we have collision theory and uh, uh, another one transition state theory Yeah, but finally, all these things will give me that format and actually that format is a simplification of all these things, except also for thermodynamics almost straight you get. So, now let us quickly see uh, how do we get that format because that is easy to start. Okay? The functionality that the concentration is much more difficult, but here at least with the temperature we have only one term and that is easy to get and from thermodynamics first let me tell you how do you get that uh, that format this format means exponential term okay you know uh, we are now trying to find out that k functionality using thermodynamic information and you know thermodynamic information uh, temperature dependency constant from thermodynamics. Okay. Good. If you have, because you know simple equations we will take just to get the point, A going to R, maybe A gas, B uh, R going to, I mean uh, R also gas, then I have here K 1, K 2, it is equilibrium reaction. right? So, you heard of uh, Van Toff's equation? Van Toff's. Yeah. So, the Van Toff's equation will give me yeah, that equation in terms of differentiation capital K. Yeah. This one here? equal to delta H R by R T square. Okay, uh, that is the first equation I have written for kinetics. Right? I mean uh, yeah, these things are okay, uh, this equation 1, 2, this is 3. Yeah. So, this equation we can also write you know this k is nothing but k 1 and this is equilibrium constant capital K and I write small k like this okay, and capital K like this there is no round there. Okay. So, this is capital K uh, okay, where capital K as k 1 by k 2. Okay. So, now I can also write the same thing here this will be if I write substitute Oh, this is equation 4. If I put equation 4 in 3, then what I get is ln small k 1 by d t minus d of ln small k 2 by d t also equal to 
E 1 minus E 2 divided by R T square, where you have this information where E 1 minus E 2 equal to what? Delta H R. Right? Yeah, good. So, now I can take that similarity is here. For example, this term is equivalent to this term. This term is equivalent to that term. Okay? So, if I okay. Yeah. So, this is equivalent to d ln k 1 d t equal to E 1 by R t square. Minus E 1 by R t. Huh? Minus E 1 by R t. Because you know the answer you are telling, but I think I also want mathematics. Plus, plus. Already plus. done it? Yeah. So, this may be a surprise test. So, if you simply write without writing anything uh, in between uh, that answer, I will put 0, because I think I cannot go to your mind and then see you know, what you have done. I want something on the paper, right. Yeah. So, this is equal to minus E by or E 1 by R T. So, this is one of the forms. So, you know, yeah, ln k 1, uh, ln k is minus E by R T instead of just writing E 1 and k 1 like that. Yeah. So, integration constant then I will write equal to k naught into exponential yeah that is what integration constant yeah we should not forget. Yeah. So, numbers if I give this is 4, this is 5, 6, okay, 7, 8. So, this is one conclusion from uh, thermodynamics that the rate dependency, no, not rate dependency, k rate of reaction, rate constant dependency with the temperature may be something like this, but again it is not true unless you check with the experiments. Okay? So, now we can come and discuss with uh, you know the kinetic theory, kinetic theory particularly collision theory. Yeah, in collision theory, what is the assumption? Yeah, so all the particles will come together, they will be colliding, but all the collisions are not energetic collisions, they, they may not be resulting. Only some fraction of the collisions will give you the product. That fraction is mathematically it, it can be proved as this term exponential e minus e by R t. By the way, what are the units of this minus e by R t? Unitless. Okay. So, that exponential term will give me the fraction of collisions which are resulting in the product. So, that is why that fraction, this fraction will increase if I increase the temperature. When you are increasing the temperature, the energetic collisions will increase. So, that is why at a high temperatures you will get high rate of reaction. Okay. But from kinetic theory of uh, gases, we have an equation. The equation is K is proportional to T to the power of half E power minus E by R T. Or if I remove the proportionality constant, this may be some K naught dash T to the power of half E power minus E by R t that is the equation. So, equation uh, 9, equation 10. <coughs> okay. So, definitely this is different than the thermodynamic uh, relation, right? Okay, good. So, now the next one. Next one, because here I am not <coughs> going into details, I am just telling you we have kinetic theory. I mean, there is a lot of information, this is very, very, very old one. I think 100 years back also they did that. Okay. So, finally, there are equations and all that, but our uh, final information what we require is, because we need an equation for k value which is depending on temperature. So, this is the information what you have to remember. 
or if you want to remember, I think actual derivations also you can remember, right? Physical chemistry people would have done it already. Good. So then, yeah, the next one is transition state theory. What is the assumption in transition state theory? Anyone, anyone who has come across this transition state theory? Transition state theory. Okay. <coughs> yeah, that tells us if I have again, you know, a reaction A plus B going to R. Here our imagination is that first A and B again will collide. That collisions must be there because they are moving. They have to collide. Okay. No gas will be at rest unless you go to zero Kelvin. Okay. So, because this A and B is always moving, you will have the collisions. Now, those collisions will not give you directly R. Right? Yeah. Then, what it will give? Our assumption is that that is leading to some kind of intermediate. Then, intermediate will have <coughs> sufficient energy and then that will decompose to product. This is another imagination. You see, you can have for the same experimental data thousands of models. When you conduct, for example, A plus B going to R experimental data, right, and uh, you measure uh, what is the k values or what are the uh, uh, conversions or rates, rates you can measure there. So now you go to collision theory, and now imagine that A plus B getting co collided, and then you will have rate of reaction, some conversion, or rate of reaction can be expressed now in terms of collision theory. You will have a rate equation. Right. So, similarly, now you have another model in your mind, all models are in our mind. Why? Why they are in our mind? Yeah, because you know exactly what is happening there, it is there or not, I do not know. That is why now I am imagining probably this is what is happening. Like exactly, I am looking at you, I am thinking that I am doing a very good job, but I think by looking at you, but I think you may not understood anything till now what I have talked. 14 class 4. Okay. So, my concept, you know, in my mind, what I am thinking is that you may be understanding, but actually you feel that you have not understood anything. How do I find out? Test. That is experiment. Correct, no? So, similarly, here also you have any number of models, and now final test is doing experiment. So, once you have experiment, if thereby and does he cannot get at same conditions, he won't get. You should not get different RA, because that means you don't how to do the experiment. If you differently get at different places, but conditions are same exactly, same concentration, same temperatures. Okay, if you maintain all that anywhere in the world you do, you should get the. That is constant. Experimental data is the true truth, but your model is not the truth. Why? This imagination of A plus B giving us an intermediate product, then it is decomposing to the final product. All that is a model, your experimental data, if it verifies there, then you can say that okay, my, my transition theory is, uh, theory is right. But in this case, if someone tries with, okay, Debian tries with collision and Susmita tries with uh, transition state theory, okay. what do you do if both are uh, correct? In theory, experiments they must be right. You know. So, this is what is the current problem also, because these models approximately tally all this. They tally a little bit. It is not that one theory is perfect for this, another theory is perfect for this. So, that is the reason why even now we do not understand what is actual molecular uh, you know, collisions and then giving us the product. That is why we are lucky as chemical engineers, because we do not have to worry. Why? At the end only I will see whether I get conversion or not. How they are reacting? Who cares? Okay, <laughs> yeah. Huh? Chemistry ah, chemists they have to uh, you know break their uh, mind saying that okay, no, this molecule is not reacting, that molecule is not reacting because that poor fellows they have to fight for that. Okay, because our uh, uh, our uh, yeah, objective is to produce the chemical somehow. Okay, yeah. So that is the reason why. But still, we should know the theory. That's why we are telling that the transition state theory. 
and uh, one imagination as I told you here is A plus B giving me that is again a reversible step A B star that is the intermediate. Then this intermediate is it is not reversible the intermediate is this is again an assumption. So, now I have here k 1, k 2, k 3 yeah okay. all these constants right. So, intermediate is not permanently there because I think after some time it will disappear, but temporarily it will form and then go away. So, then another imagination for this is that I have uh, energy and here we have reaction path, reaction coordinates what we say and then reaction coordinate what we will say. Then you will have a little bit of dip here, maybe energy. Yeah, okay. This is, this may be one situation, and another situation you have again energy reaction path. So it may be starting at low, very small. For some reactions, you don't see that also much. Yeah, like this. So, this one <coughs> sorry. this one is E 1, this one is E 2 energy okay. and here also I have this one E 1, this one E 2. Did you see this diagram earlier? And here we have the activated complex. So, it needs some energy to reach this peak and from there it is decomposing. Okay? Energy, energy decreasing, that activated complex energy is decreasing. So, then you will have in this case one type of reaction and this case one the another type of reaction. Okay? It is E 1 minus E 2. Where, uh, can you tell which is exothermic reaction, which is endothermic reaction? First one is exothermic. Why? E 1 minus E 2 is? Energy level is less. Yeah, negative exactly. So, this is minus delta H R. So, which is exo and this one is minus okay. delta H R oh no, yeah, plus delta H R which is endo. This, this diagram is also important, huh? because sometimes in the interviews and all that, I may also ask in surprise test, because surprise test is only for 5 minutes. You have to clearly write, draw the co reaction coordinates and if you do not draw anything and then only draw those two uh, lines, uh, I do not give any marks, I am just telling you. Good. So, this is the one. So, this is another way of imagining the reaction uh, rate, but we are not going to that kind of so much details, right? but our functionality here is k is proportional to t to the power of sorry not t to the power t into minus e by rt this is another equation so this is equation 11 and this also k is k naught dash for example t e power minus e by rt this is so yeah so, now you see you have the real problem that is why I told you kinetics are really difficult for us. Okay. So, now you have three equations one from thermodynamics which gives me nice equation like this, one from collision theory which gives t to the power of half some constant right and here another equation from transition state theory with uh, you know k is proportional to t this is here k is proportional to t to the power of half this one here k is proportional to t to the power of 0, 0. Okay. Which one is right? We do not know. Okay. So, people say that Arrhenius was very smart and then he told that it does not matter. So, the variation of uh, this term because exponential term is much, much higher when compared to the variation of this term k 0 into t to the power of half or the t. So, you take this entire thing as a constant which is independent of 
temperature. So, that means the variation in that constant will not be, it is not much. So, that is why finally, Aryanis equation in this format it is accepted and that is what we use 99.99 times in all CRE books, okay? in all CRE books. Good. So, at least now you have one term very confidently known as that F 1 T function of you know temperature F 1 that term. Now, we are taking only Arrhenius equation type. That means, k equal to k naught into e power minus e by r t. People call that k 0 as collision uh, factor. Yeah. So, all kinds of things we can Yeah. Okay. So, finally, that term F 1 of t will be k naught e power minus e by r t, right. I mean actually we can also prove that uh, you know Levens Peel does that. Uh, I do not know in which volume he has done it. Yeah, he does something like this k equal to k naught t to the power of m, yeah, t to the power of m into e power minus e by r t, yeah, and differentiate with respect to, oh no, take logs first, logs of this. So, log k equal to log k naught plus m log t plus correct minus e by r t. <coughs> now, differentiate this with respect to with respect to temperature. Okay. D oh sorry sir. Thank you, thank you. Who is telling that? D L N K. Oh, Pooja, okay, okay. D L N K. <laughs> Very nice. So, D L N K. So, then the equation what you get is Ah, yeah, I will leave it to you. Okay. <laughs> I will just leave it to you. Then finally, this can be written as m r t plus e by r t square, because I may ask this also in the separate test. So, that is why that mathematical details I have to see in your uh, thing. Okay. So, I lost uh, equations. So, this is 12, this is 13 this is 14 side business i have started here okay <laughs> this is 15 this is 16 <coughs> okay so now for many reactions what they found was mrt is almost negligible okay approximately yeah uh, i don't say zero oh, okay uh, it is negligible when compared to i think i will write here okay negligible compared to compared to e <coughs> for this is very crucial m r t that m multiplied by r m is that uh, exponent okay we think that m is only uh, either it can be zero zero means arrhenius equation half means collision one means yeah it seems there are some models which uh, m is four in some models, some kinetic models, kinetic theory of gases, some more models also will give you not only half and one, uh, I think sometimes I have this information, which model I do not know, but I have that, you know sometimes it can go to even three also, three and four, four also. Okay? But anyway, we are happy to ignore this, so that we have this kind of rate expression, which is nothing but k rate constant equal to k naught e power minus e by r t. So, this is the final Correct. <coughs> huh? oh, whole RT square. That is. Whole RT square. That, that is why you have to derive that and then uh, you find out. Okay? You derive that, do not ask me now. Okay? <laughs> because if I ask, I will tell the answer and you will uh, give the answer. Because I also want people, you know, when they when they do not write, also I am happy. <laughs> because correction is less. You know. So, 
Okay, anyway, good. Anyway, it is very simple. You can just differentiate and then take the LCM and all that you will get it. Okay, I am not uh, really trying to say that you should not write anything. I am happy if all of you get yes, real yes, not by copying and all that. Okay, good. Okay, so this is the one what we have in that first uh, you know two parts. We have the k part, f1 t, and we have the other part is f f2 c a. Now, what kind of thing, what kind of uh, format you get for this f1, f2, c a? Okay, if you are very lucky, then this will be simple. Okay, one. One means if I have rate equation minus R A equal to simply k c a equal to one c c a to the power of zero, so it is zero order reaction. Okay, so zero. That's why it is one. We have told. Hmm. There is no fourth order in nature. It's where we can find it means two means two molecules are colliding. <laughs> if they are elementary reactions, that is very very important. Elementary reactions means they are behaving the way they are supposed to behave, right? But if they are not elementary, then non-elementary means that kind of mechanisms will come. Which one? A plus B going to again some intermediate. Now it is straight forward that intermediate is going to only directly R. So that fellow will go to something else. Okay. So like that you will have four five steps. The best example is HBr uh, decomposition reaction. So, yeah, H2 plus Br2 giving you uh, two HBr. It's not decomposition; it's the actual reaction. There, how many steps? And also, there are some four, five types of mechanisms which are possible. But experimental data is only one. So, you have to fit uh, fit one of those things. But that, anyway, I will tell you a little bit later. So, this is one, or this can be. Uh, C A. Okay, yeah. I am telling about only that part because we told that minus R A is F one T into F two C A. So now this one I know this is equal to K. Where K equal to this? Oh, this equation number forty. Forty na? Oh, seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. Okay, good. So uh, now this this we are focusing that can be either F one F two C A can be C A or C A square C A cubed C A cubed C A cubed or in general it may be C A to the power of n where n can be zero to zero three zero to three. Can also be negative, but negative orders we have not observed. Again, in nature, okay. So that is why it can be, but it it need not be integer. It can be even fraction, fraction also. So that is why I told you it is very very difficult the kinetics part part in uh, reaction engineering. If unfortunately if you want to design a reactor on your own from step from scratch, right? So from scratch means. You don't know how much you have to produce. That is very easy to get. Then you don't know what kind of uh, you know the kinetic uh, and stoichiometric equation, but you don't know what is the rate of reaction minus R A, what is the order and all that. So you have to conduct the rate. I mean, you have to conduct the experiment to find out what is the rate and what form you will get. You need not get all the time K into C A. You may get any kind of you know crazy equation like you may have also C A by K plus C A or okay some other form. K means again you may think rate constant. Yeah, so M plus C A, that format. So that is why absolutely you don't have any idea of uh, you know what kind of thing you are uh, you are going to get when you have this kind of thing. You know in in kinetics, that is why that is much more difficult for us to deal with when compared to contacting. That's why I started contacting, but you know I could have started either this or that doesn't matter. But this time I started with contacting so that. You will have uh, uh, three reactors, and any one of them you can use to find out minus R. This one minus R. Ah, uh, is minus R is F one T F two C. Need not be always batch reactor. 
it can be even in fact the CSTR is the best uh, reactor to find out kinetics. Okay. So, now what we have to discuss is that yes, if someone gives me I have a reaction stoichiometric equation okay, A L plus B L giving me R L. <coughs> now, I have to find out the rate minus R A. This minus R A I have decomposed into these two F 1 T and uh, F 2 C A, but this fellow I know very well. So, this is nothing but minus E by R T, but still I do not know C A. How do I do that? We have to do the experiment. Okay. Suppose I give you this A plus B going to R, how do you conduct the experiment? By the way, what for you are conducting the experiment? To find out the to find out the rate, you should have that minus R A. Okay? You should have that, this is the problem with our all our labs. You know, without telling what is the exact aim, you know, without discussion much, we give that you know to find only aim this much. Okay? Find kinetics. But we do not know, uh, we do not explain to you why we have to find the kinetics and what are the uh, problems in finding kinetics and all that. And then we will also tell that, okay, go to lab, you have a reactor you have uh, reactant A, reactant what are the famous in the world reactants? Sodium hydroxide. Very good. Sodium hydroxide and? Sodium hydroxide and HCl no. Ethyl acid. Ethyl acid. Ethyl acid. 90% of the labs in the world conduct sodium uh, hydroxide and ethyl acetate. That is called esterification reaction. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, safe means what is going to kill you? Means going to kill you or? Not huh? <laughs> yeah, but not only that. All that is apart. The kinetics are known to us. Whether you are right or wrong, you should know. That is the reason why I think well-behaved equation, as he said, all those things are right. But apart from that, we know the kinetics. That is also one drawback. Okay, because we know the kinetics, you will somehow get the answer. Okay, I mean, you don't really get the answer. Somehow, huh? Ah, analysis also is very, but if you do it, you know, because you know K is this much at uh, 30 degree centigrade, somehow you will get it. Yeah, but if I do not know all that and then if I am only talking about a totally new, new stoichiometric equation, how do you go about that? Everything is a problem I tell you. I can give straight away M tech or M S or PhD, if I give you I think two components and then go to lab and then you conduct the experiment on your own, we do not tell anything. Everything you have to do it. You have to choose what is the size of the container. You have to choose the temperature. You have to choose the concentration. You have to choose the analytical method. I will tell you, I think it is very, very, very difficult. In fact, we are not training you in that way. That is why at least, you know, IIT Madras, they do not, they may not listen to me when I say in our department. But I told in Amruta University, sir, for MTech students, do not tell anything, ask them to go and do some experiments in the lab. Let them define their own experiment. I want to do only flow through pipes. Okay. Or that means he has to choose the pipe, he has to choose the flow rate, he has to construct the you know the all that uh, connections, pump and all that, you know, pumping and all that. Then a distillation column means a small distillation column, he has to do it. Then you learn a lot. But unfortunately, in no other edu educational institutions we are doing that, allowing you to do all that. We tried in our IIT Madras experimentation. So, we gave fluid mechanics lab for B.Tech students long time back. I do not know still they are breaking. So, you know there was a column uh, like for example, pipes were there, right? Uh, fluid mechanics, no? Or fluid aged bed was there. Uh, so, what they did was they removed all the pipes. They, they do not know how to put it back again. So, they waited two days, three days, four days, nothing is coming. Then mechanic has to come and then put it back. Destroying is very easy, creating entropy is very easy, but decreasing entropy is very difficult. Right? I do not know whether you understood what I said. Yeah, creating uh, entropy. We are all entropy generators. One small bomb here in this room, 
that is all, this will disappear and you will get the maximum disorder. When you have maximum disorder, what will be the entropy? Yeah, very high. Yeah. So, but now order comes, if I ask you again, okay, you have exploded that uh, building, now you construct in the same way. Same shape, you bring it. You know how much time it takes? How much energy required? That is what is the difficulty to go in that direction, you know, the decreasing in entropy. Increasing entropy is very easy. That is what is happening throughout the world, increasing entropy. Not only, I think that is why uh, the thermodynamics is a philosophical subject. It is not destroying building or increasing uh, disorder by moving or by sending cars and you know uh, all vehicles and all that, not only that. It is philosophically also, our brain also goes for more and more disorder. That is why 100 years back the sincerity, uh, the kind of people what we have, all those people when you think at least you know, we would have not seen them, but at least we have some information on that and how ethical they are, how good they are, how they are treating anyone when they come, you know, all over, anywhere on this planet, I tell you, 